Hey guys. Hey guys, um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've been quite busy. Got my own shed now, which is nice. It's a bit of a mess, but I like it. Um, but today in this video, uh, as you can tell by the title, we will be getting a like a, an older. Uh, radio, like an AM radio, there's no FM because of how old it is. Like, this radio was made before FM was, like, a thing. And so, yeah, it's, um, I plugged it into the wall. And it works. It, um, it's catching a little bit of a signal, but not much since the antenna is shit on it. I got my toolbox full of tools and I'm gonna go take it apart right now. Well I'm gonna take the back cover off. We'll be there in a sec. Okay uh, I'm in my garage now because my shed doesn't have power. Um, but here's the radio. It's, it's a general electric radio and it works and it's old I don't remember what model number it is but I'll, I'll, I'll check in a second it's uh it's actually in really good condition for how old it is I think this thing's from like the 40s or 50s if I'm lucky maybe the 30s but I doubt it General Electric Shitty stereo. This side is going inward, so I have to take off the cover and push that part, like this piece of plastic, back out. It's like the original shit, too. It's super bendable. And... Yeah. But yeah, you got all the... Got the AM tuning bit. Holy crap. There you go. Maybe you can see that a little more. There you go. Perfect. But, yeah, it's a nice radio. Sides are nice, but uh, I'm gonna have to redo it. Because right there, it's a little low. Like, it's a little low right there, and it's a little high there, and there, and then here it's at the regular, at the regular spot. The rear has, like, the rear metal plate is caved in a little bit. Because, well, it's been sort of sitting in a garage for years at a time. And I'm surprised it still works. It's, um... Model number CL541A. Uh, you can use AC or DC for this. Frequency is 25 to 60. Cycles AC. It's a 30 watt, uh, thing. Uh, Canadian General Electric Company Limited, Toronto, Canada. So this was made like somewhere else, <laughs> maybe like a province over. Uh, disconnect supply cord before opening. Well, can't really do that. Well, I mean, unless they unless they mean the wall, but I doubt it. But yeah, that's my toolbox. Little piece of shit I got for me, like. I think it was like four bucks at uh, Valley Village. And then all the tools in there got either from the dumpster or from uh, fucking winning stuff at uh, hockey games. But yeah, with this, I put a little light there. I'll show you that later. First, I'm going to move that there. So you got a bunch of tools. This part was a broken screwdriver, so like the handle broke because I was hitting a hammer onto it to pry something apart. And the handle broke. So what I did was I had another radio that uh, whose antenna was all like it was literally cut off of the thing, like of the radio. 
And so what I did was I hooked up the wire to that uh, that piece. It's kind of like this, except it was a flathead. And I stuck that in, hooked the wire up, and then I zip tied it on. And it actually sounds way better than stock. You know what I mean? It's um surprising it worked. But uh, yeah, I gotta tear that apart. Has those screws? I don't know what they're called, but I like those square ones. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll skip to when I'm done that. Okay, so I got that open. Um, had to use. And those square bit thingies. Hold up. Well, this is what it looks like on the tool piece. It's that bit that's missing right there, the R1. And those little pegs that were right there, they're actually nails going into these small little blocks in there. So you gotta use a pair of tweezers to take them out, and um, yeah. But when I take this off, first thing I notice is that there's this yellow stuff, like this yellow hard shit that's falling, and I don't know what that is. So what I do is I put my camera in here so I can see because I'm using my phone and it's. Really fucking good phone. It's a Samsung. Samsung's best. Whether you fucking like it or not. Um. But yeah. There's, there's some pretty cool relays and shit in there. And wonder what I could do with them if I wasn't rebuilding this and getting it working. Doing fuck all with it. So what I'm going to do is, because the wires are on so tight, and I don't want to break this, I, I think that I have to um, put it on its side, actually. That makes more sense. Alright, so, flipped it over to its side. I look in here. There's this little thing around here. I think it's for the AM thing. But the cool thing about it is, over here, there is this relay. And if you look closely, Markham Radio. On that one and that one. This one looks like it's original, but the other ones are replacements. Plus, because this is bent, like, this back plate is bent, like it's bent quite badly, too. I think I'm going to bend it back, try not to break it, and then right here, it's connected to a wire that's connected to that plate inside, and a small relay right here, or whatever the fuck that is, which is then connected to that Malcolm radio thingy. Well, that this metal box right there. So... I am going to uh, quickly uh, bend that plate back and then put that wire that was on that plate back on. I want to plug it into the wall without screwing anything in because I don't want to fuck up anything. Oh yeah, look at that. See that? That thing seems loose. Hold up. See, look at the spacing in that. Holy shit, why can I not? Why can I not focus? But see that spacing right there? On that black piece right there in between the black and the gray? And I don't think that's supposed to be like that, but there is a light inside of here. So then that screen, like the, the thingy is supposed to light up, but because of how old the light is, it doesn't work. So, 
I, I don't really need it to work. I just need to get it working and then may, like possibly put it on my bike or put it on, uh, like put it for sale on a fucking Facebook marketplace. But yeah, I'm, that's what I'm going to do with it. I'll, uh, I'll show you back when it's done. Ish. Okay, I blew the thing out a little bit, uh, put it back together, and I want to show you guys something. So, I call this the screwdriver hack. So, this is where the antenna would normally go, or antenna wire, I should say. But, those wires don't exactly transit very, like, transmit radio frequencies very well. So, what I decided to do was grab a screwdriver, stick it in there because it's a clip thingy, and it should work a little bit better. And then I also forgot to show you the bottom of it. I don't know if you can read that because of how shitty it is, but it's missing big chunk of wording there. So that definitely helps the fact that I might need to rewire the entire thing so yeah I'll, uh, I'll plug it in okay so I have the radio plugged in right there look how skinny that thing is compared to the new ones it's crazy but it works um, I still gotta fix that plastic piece at one point and right now this one is to turn it on and then the radio so sorry the sound and then this one is to change the frequency as you can see that it moves as i turn this knob so i'm going to turn it on i'm going to wait for a little bit for it to warm up Come on, you turned on earlier. There we go. Hear that? I want to tune it. It's getting a little bit of a signal here, but not a very good signal. frequency would be okay well, that's a little better let's see if I can tune it to a different station I take this out. Oh. That's odd. It's probably the metal plate in the back. There you go. It actually doesn't sound too bad.
I don't have very many AM station choices here, but I'd knobs are interchangeable so I could just pull that out <laughs> ooh that shocked me holy shit what the fuck how did that shock me ah look at that <laughs> no I'm kidding that was that's the scar that was already there. But that, it, it shocked me, like, right, right there. Oh. Yeah, don't take off the knobs on these when it's plugged in. <laughs> Ow. Fuck. I don't want to change the radio now, but I'm scared because I don't want to sh shock myself again. Yeah, well, that that's my video. I don't want to put that back on because I don't want to be, get shocked. <sighs> don't shock me. Don't shock me. Don't chuck me. There you go. I want to save. But yeah, they have like these metal clips inside of them. Don't know if you can see that very well. Camera's not the best for uh, making YouTube videos, but it's definitely good for pictures. But yeah, look how skinny that is. Those things could snap at any moment. But yeah, I was thinking. Um, like, I don't know what I should do with this yet. I don't know if you guys think that I should put it on my uh, my homemade motorbike. Or if I should use it as like a shop thing or restore it and then sell it. Uh, put it down in the comments below if you like the video. Like it. And uh, subscribe to my channel. You don't have to ring the bell. You don't have to put the bell notification. I just need subscribers. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I got 1940s equipment. One of these, both of them are fucking bent and they still work. And I still got shocked. Oh, fuck. But, yeah, don't touch the knobs um, when it's, like, when the plastic pieces are off, because those fucking hurt. Um, like, a shit ton.
so. Yeah, wait, actually, I want to see if the light works on this. Hold up. Okay, it's going to take a little bit to warm up again. That buzzing you hear is all the electricity going through the fucking glass beams that you saw in there, the fucking Marco company or whatever the hell it was. That's all electricity coming from there. You might be able to see it. keep my phone too close to it because it might you know shock it and make it have a camera seizure <laughs> it's happened before but yeah I hope you like the video uh, don't forget to like and s subscribe no need to hit the bell notification but please do um and if anybody's interested in this, I will sell it to you for 50 bucks. No, what? Nah. 60 bucks. 55. 55. Contact me and we'll make a deal. But you pay for the shipping, not me. Alright. Well, thank you for watching the video. I uh, really hope you enjoyed. Like I said, like three fucking times. Um. I'm actually quite proud of myself. I got this thing for free at an antique shop because uh, people keep dropping old shit at his place, right? Like at the antique owner's place. And he has no use for it. He can't really make much money out of it unless it works. And this one, because it has an old cord, like an old uh, plug-in, he didn't want to test it because he didn't want to burn a fuse in his helm and... Like, I, I totally understand them, but I'm really not that um, scared of that happening because I make a lot of money, like, a lot, about $7,000 every three months, it's pretty good for my age, and, uh, yeah, thank you for watching again and yeah I uh, if, uh that's it I'll make a new video sometime soon I don't know when possibly a year after this one kind of like the other ones but it shouldn't be too bad well have a good night and well morning or night or afternoon or midnight or whatever whenever the fuck you watch this video and um yeah but hold up